displacement time graph. The displacement time graph tells how the displacement of a moving object varies with time. Look at this example. This is a displacement time graph illustrating the motion of two trolleys. We can tell the time and displacement of the trolleys easily from the graph. For example, at the time t equal to two seconds, the displacement of trolley B is one meter, and displacement of trolley A is three meter. Another information we can gather from the graph is the velocity. In a displacement time graph, the velocity of a motion is equal to the gradient of the graph. The higher the gradient, the higher the velocity. The lower the gradient, the lower the velocity. Analyzing displacement time graph one. In previous slide, we have learned that in a displacement time graph, the velocity of the motion is equal to the gradient of the graph. Let's use this information to analyze these graphs. The first graph is a horizontal straight line. The gradient of a horizontal line is zero. Since the gradient of the graph is equal to the velocity, hence the velocity is also equal to zero. Second graph is a slanted straight line. For all straight line, the gradients are constant. Therefore, the graph shows a motion of constant velocity or uniform velocity. The gradient is also positive. This positive value of gradient shows that the velocity is positive or the object is moving in the positive direction. Analyzing displacement time graph two. Let's continue with the non-straight line graph. In first graph, the gradient of the graph decreases over time. This decrease of gradient suggests that the velocity of the object decreases over time. In second graph, the gradient of the graph increases over time. Therefore, we say the velocity of the object increases over time. So, again. Always keep in mind, in a displacement time graph, the velocity of the object is equal to the gradient of the graph. Analyzing displacement time graph three, let's look at a few more examples. This time we are going to study the motion where the displacement decreases over time. We can see that in all the three cases, the displacement starts from a positive value. Then decreases to zero. Well, decrease or increase of the displacement only shows the direction of movement. All displacement must be measured from a reference point. You can take any points as a reference point. For a positive displacement, the displacement increases when the object moves away from the reference point, and the displacement decreases when the object moves closer to the reference point. Let's come back to the motion graph. The first graph is a straight line, means the gradient is constant. The gradient is negative suggests that the velocity is negative. Many students will think that this is a motion of decreasing velocity, which is not true. This is a motion of uniform velocity in the negative direction. The negative value of the gradient simply shows that the object moved in negative direction. In second graph, the gradient decreases over time, and is negative all the time. This negative value and decrease of gradient shows that the velocity is negative and decreases over time. Again, velocity is negative means the object is moving in negative direction. In third graph, the gradient decreases over time and is also negative all the time. This increase and negative value of the gradient shows that. The velocity increases and negative over time. Example one. Let us look at this example. The graph shows how the displacement of an object changes over time. Describe the motion at O A, A B, and B C. From O to A, the gradient is constant and positive. This constant and positive value of gradient show that the object move at uniform velocity in the positive direction. From A to B, the gradient is zero. This shows that the velocity is zero. 
the object is stationary or not moving from A to B. From B to C, the gradient increases over time. It is still positive all the time. This shows that the object is still moving in the same direction at an increasing speed.